The Arawa Consultative Forum has expressed support for the call of the Southern Governors to ban open grazing of cattle. ACF Chairman and Immediate Past Minister of Agriculture, Audu Ogbe, in a statement on Monday, said the ACF does not see any reason to object to a decision taken in the best interest of all. Ogbe, however, said there is the need to advise the governors in all states not to think that merely banning open grazing will end the crisis. In other news now, the pastor of a deeper life Christian church in Undo State, Ota Mayomi Ogedingbe, has regained freedom for, after spending one week in captivity. The pastor was abducted last week, Monday, on his church premise uh, in Eresha community near Akuradea State Capital in Undo. A member of his church who confirmed the release the newsman did not disclose if any ransom was paid. Abductors of Pastor Ogedengbe had earlier on Thursday demanded a ransom of 30 million naira. Meanwhile, the Undo State Police spokesperson, when contacted, said he was unaware of the release. While staying with security matters, Islamic cleric Sheikh Ahmed Gomi says Nigeria can end banditry and security challenges within one month. The condition to achieve this, he says, is that security agencies must be given the needed support and equipment to negotiate with bandits. This next report tells us more. Islamic cleric Sheikh Ahmed Gumi has proposed alternative solutions to ending banditry in Nigeria. He said this when a group of Christian clerics led by Pastor Johanna Buru paid him a Salah homage visit at his residence in Kaduna State. Politicians tell us they don't trust the bandits. The bandits tell us they don't trust the politicians. I'm telling you, as a middleman, I trust the bandits more than the politicians because the politicians, me and them, even in the town, how did we end up? We trust them. So it's just politics. It's just government. If government is serious now, now in one month, all banditry will stop. But it has to give the right people the right support, an instrument to go in and, and foster this. He also described the Greenfield kidnapping as pathetic, claiming that bandits and Boko Haram terrorists collaborated to pull off the abduction. He re-echoes his stance for the government to dialogue with bandits to solve the security challenges from the roots. Unfortunately, the Greenfield abduction is unique because for the first time we see a cooperation between some uh, bandits and the Boko Haram element. Uh, so this confirmed to us Boko Haram is encroaching and entering into the field. The government has to accept. If the bandits I sent a message to them, please, let me come and listen to you. They say, come. And they give me peace until I go, and they escort you to their territory. On his part, Pastor Johanna emphasizes the need to foster peaceful coexistence and unity among both religious as a means to end insecurity in Nigeria. Between Muslim and Christians as good neighbors, to promote peaceful coexistence, so that there will be peace in this country, mutual understanding, and that they will lay down their arms and em embrace dialogue. Both Reverend Buru and Sheikh Gumi agree on one thing, that non-military measures are a sure way to bring peace to the Nigerian polity. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.